Transitions. Bro, this is the one thing that can eat your entire day and still look like absolute trash. No matter how long you tweak it. You just one keyframe, then another, then a feed with graph editor, then you ruin it again, and somehow the transition becomes even worse than before. That's exactly why I'm here. Today I'm gonna show you transitions so simple, so effective, so insanely clean that once you learn them, you'll stop wasting hours on the same boring stuff everyone else does. We've got three methods. Each one strong, but the last one feels so unfair. It's almost illegal to show it. And um, yeah, you definitely want to stay until the end. We are not wasting time with long intros, so boom! We are already inside After Effects. Now, listen. Technically, the proper way to build transitions is to create a null layer, parent your clips to it, animate 50 parameters, spray nothing breaks, and eventually delete the whole project and go lie down. First transition method, Create an adjustment layer, drop transform on it, we are only animating position, nothing else, slide it until only half of your clip is visible. Switch to your second clip and slide it in the opposite direction. That's literally it. Open your graph editor and make it super fast. Like blink and it's gone, fast. Good. Now add linear color key, pick any color from your clip and animate the two parameters from zero up to normal values so the transition actually reveals something instead of a black void. Next, add the soft blur, animate it from zero up to round four, but here's where the magic starts. Add directional blur and animate its amount to some absolute stupid number, like 300 or more, with a fast graph to keep the impact tight. Add the warp chroma, animate just the X position, and uh, already your transition starts to feel alive. Finish the chain with the glow. Any glow works, but I am using deep glow. Animating it from 0 to 1 with a fast graph, and looks clean, looks professional, but hold on. We are not done. Here's a cheat code I almost nobody knows. Create a second adjustment layer. Add a templar blur. Set blur fellow to 100 and uh, set amount between 1, 1.5 and 2.5. I usually choose 1.5 or 2. Animate the opacity of this layer so it fades in and out with the transition. Done. This one trick makes any transition look 10 times smoother instantly. Second transition method. Stupidly easy and ridiculously effective. Create an adjustment layer. If you have shake presets or my shake pack, this is where things get fun. Just apply any shake to it, you now have an instant transition base. But to make it an actual transition, hit U, copy the ending keyframes, pass them at the start, fix anything that shouldn't be at zero, and uh, create a fast speed graph. Boom! 10 second transition works every time. The third method, the one that feels like cheating. Create a white solid layer. Trim it to one frame, duplicate, trim, duplicate again. Now slide the last two frames apart, one on the left, one on the right. Done! The best transition in the world. Okay, okay, calm down, it's a joke. Kind of. It does look clean, but it's not the real strongest transition. Because the strongest transition isn't a single effect. It's balance, it's motion fixed with a shake, impact mixed with style, one frame pops, distortion, glow, everything layers so organically. You can't even tell what happened. The viewer only feels momentum. That's what makes people rewatch edits. And if you want to see how I combine all of this properly, just watch my last video. The one nobody watched, the one that destroyed my life, which is why I was homeless.